I am Bill Cortright with Living Right with Bill Cortright. And this is the Stress Mastery Podcast, where we take you from the science to the spirituality of stress mastery. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Stress Mastery Podcast. I am your host, Bill Cortright. This week, our topic is the shift. And today's Setup Sunday, I will discuss your new reality and the shift. So a shift is defined as a move or a cause to move one place to another. In stress mastery, a shift is to create a new reality. So to begin this discussion, we must address what sets your current reality. The human being is hardwired for behavior. This behavior is dictated by what is held in mind. What is held in mind sets your perception, and your perception sets your reality. This reality is your subjective reality. This is set through your state at any given moment. In your subjective reality, you are set. It's your world. It's your life. In this state, you are in deaf effect and perceptional blindness. You will defend and attack anything or anyone outside this state. You will unite through intersubjective reality with others in the same state. Again, intersubjective reality needs two or more humans with the same program, the same beliefs in order to exist. Your reality in any given moment is a state, an energy held. 95% of your behavior is driven from the programmed identity, ego, in subjective reality. But what happens when you just slow down. What happens when you take a simple breath? What happens when you pause, become aware, become mindful? What happens to your reality? You create a shift. You move from one place to another. This is an energetic move, taking you out of the valley red zone, and placing you on the mountain in the green zone. In this shift of state, you move out of subjective reality, you move out of perceptional blindness, and you move into the objective reality as the witness. This objective moment is the state shift. From the state of restriction, base energy, fear, to the state of expansion, base energy, courage. Now, each of you listening have experienced the activated state of a shift. Maybe you've been suffering in lack. This is when we suffer in lack when we have a lack program. And this lack program will play out in all five life categories. If you have a lack program, it will play out in your career, your finances, your health, your relationship, and your personal and spiritual development. Now, lack is a program tied to the programmed identity, the ego's self-worth settings. So if you have lack program, number one in career, if you have a lack program, you'll be in want. Even if you have a socially successful vocation, job, you will want more. And the magnetic desire of the wants of approval and the want to belong will consistently activate. In finance, if you have a lack program, your money states will be affected. 
Some will suffer without enough, while others will suffer with too much. It's in that state where the individual will hoard and worry about losing money. Also, the super wealthy suffer and lack because they use money as a scorecard. There's never enough. They have to be the next billionaire or have to move up on Forbes' top money list. Number three, health category. If you have a lack program in health, you will have issues in mastering the body. You fear letting go of bad habits, bad programs. You feel entitled to eat and drink whatever you want. With the lack program, you will associate freedom in doing what you desire. You do not associate freedom with the state of health and being disease free. And number four, the relationship program. If you have a lack program in relationship, you'll be stuck in the programmed identity ego and the four wants. You'll want to control the relationship. You'll want the security of the relationship. You fear losing the relationship. You want have the want of approval. You will compete to be seen in the relationship. You will have the want to belong. You will need to be part of this relationship. There's a need to be part of it. And number five, personal and spiritual development. If you have a lack program in your personal and spiritual development, you will get stuck in the ego's fear program of intellectual knowledge. You simply cannot grow because you refuse to shift and you refuse to move into the shift state. You are not ready to listen. You are not willing to learn. And you are not able to do. So as we're talking about shift and we're talking about states, activated states and habitual states, and we're talking about the lack program, I'm using the lack program as an example to understand the shift. Now, let's say you're in this lack state, right? You have this lack program. And let's say you watch the movie or read the book, The Secret. Now, this book explains prosperity to you. And this excites you with all the possibilities. Now, you may have a lack program that sets your subjective reality. But in the moment of reading this book and reading those words, you open your imagination and you have a moment of hope. You shift out of lack. You shift out of the state of restriction into the state of prosperity and the state of expansion. Your energy is now connected to objective reality. Now you still feel lack, but you feel lack. You feel lack. Also, now you happen to see all the possibilities of prosperity. The book brought this out of you. The book moved you out of the valley into the mountain, out of lack to prosperity, out of restriction to expansion. This is a shift. Now, if you have an activated state of 200 courage, in that moment, you are alert, you are focused. But here is the challenge. The 200 courage is not the shift state. Now, you will feel activated in the green zone energies, but it's not the shift state. Allow me to explain. When you hold the lack program, your programmed identity ego is set in in low self worth. If this is not changed, you will not hold the activated state of courage, the 200 courage energy. You will snap back into your habitual state. So the lack program is tied to the programming of the identity that was set at age 16 in stage three socialized mind. 
The self-worth program is when it's low is what creates the lack program. So if you hold the lack program, you will hold it in the programmed identity ego. And this is setting low self-worth. In other words, your reality, your behavior will be played out in low self-worth. Now, if you read the book or watch the movie, The Secret, this gives you hope and activates you in that 200 courage. But you will not be able to hold. That's an activated state of courage. Activated state of becoming alert, becoming focused. You will not hold that if you have not self-authored your self-worth program because you will snap back to your habitual state. So activated state is the 200 courage energy. If your habitual state is low red zone, you might have hope as you read this, the book, The Secret. But as soon as you put down the book, the 200 courage activated state steps back to that 50 apathy state where you feel, I can't do it. If your habitual state is mid red zone, you are in fear. And reading the book, The Secret activates possibilities. But as soon as you move back into your subjective reality, in other words, your everyday life, you will hesitate. You will move into avoidance and avoid. You procrastinate any type of action that you learn from the book, The Secret. Now, if your habitual state is in high red zone, you will be excited about what you learn in the book. You will make declarations. You will share your excitement. You will craft vision boards, do affirmations. You may even visualize. But the very moment that expectations are not met, you will snap back into the 125 desire energy in frustration, move into 150 anger, become angry, and then move into 175 pride to justify why this stuff doesn't work. If you are in the low green zone habitual state, the life categories that are stuck in the red zone will magnify. So most times it's the health and relationship category. And what will happen is, as you read the book, The Secret, you believe in the book, yet don't know because you are not in the shift state. So the programs that will pull you out of acting on what the book is teaching will be, let's say, relationship and health programs will activate in the red zone. And because you still carry the lack program and have not self-authored the self-worth setting of the identity, you snap back into the red zone and you snap out of the exercises that you learn in the secret, the book, the secret. Now, if you're in a, are in a habitual state of mid green zone, you read the book, the secret, and you know what Rhonda Byrne was teaching is truth. You've already shifted. You self authored the programmed identity settings of self esteem, self worth, and self image. You live in the shift state. So you are ready to listen to what the movie or what the book was teaching. You are willing to learn and change old belief systems and new belief systems within the book. And most important, you're able to do what you learned in the book. So now this book is great. You tell everybody, this is a prosperity handbook. The secret is a wonderful book. Why? because you've already shifted. You're in a shift state and you can see how it works. You're not stepping back into the red zone. Now, if you're in the habitual state of high green zone, you most likely are not reading books on prosperity. See, in the high green zone, you cannot carry a lack program 
In the high green zone, which is stage five interconnected mine, you don't have lack. And the simple reason, you know God is. This is knowing God is all, and in God, there is no lack. Nobody has to tell you that there's no lack because you don't live in lack. So the whole point of going through this is so you can see that your reality is subjective to the identity held in mind. You can still have high activated states, but here lies the challenge. All high states of expansion enter at 200 courage energy. If your habitual state is in the valley, in the valley red zone, it doesn't matter if it's in a low red zone habitual state. It doesn't matter if it's in the mid red zone habitual state or the high red zone habitual state. If your habitual state is in the valley red zone, you are unable to hold the higher activated state. To shift your reality, you must move beyond your subjective reality into objective reality and expansion and the green zone energies. Yet you have to hold that objective reality and expansion. Green zone energies rise in awareness. So you enter at 200 courage. You become alert and focused. As you hold this energy, you naturally move to 250 neutrality. In the neutrality energy, you are now explorative. You are flexible in your behavior. And this allows you to move to the shift state, which is 310 willingness. Now, here you are now in this state of 310 willingness, the mid green zone energy, you are ready to listen. You can hear the message from the book. Feel the message from the book. You're willing to learn. Here you are no longer blocked or blind. You see the ego and the activated lack program. You can let it go. And you are able to do. To move up the mountain, you shift. This is where you release the programmed identity settings. Anything that's in the red zone, you can let go. You release that setting of low self-worth and you write your own version of the setting, self-authoring mind. That's what stage four is. You are writing your script. And writing that script is creating a new identity. And this allows you to move to the 350 acceptance and surrender to the process and then to the 400 recent energy where you embrace the process of life, and you shift. To shift, you must be able, and that's what you have. We do in in stress mastery. You must be able to hold the awareness of the green zone, so those energies can rise. And that's what self authoring mind is. Self authoring is stage four of development. You are letting go of the old programs and the old identity. And you're reprogramming the new identity. And what are you reprogramming? All five life categories. But you're also reprogramming the base of the identity. Your self-worth is now rewritten. Your self-esteem is now rewritten. And what does that create? A new reality because you create a new identity. Our identity and our reality are interchangeable. One leads to the other. They can never be separated. That is what we talk about in a shift. So you can read the book, The Secret, and it can give you wonderful. They sold millions of copies of that book. I'm just using that as an example. Because if you are stuck in the red zone, 
You are stuck in the programmed identity that was set for you through the stages of development at age 16. And if you are stuck in that reality and stuck in any of the red zones in the five life categories, it means you have not written your self-worth, self-esteem programs, and you have not set your self-image with a new identity. That is what we do in shift coaching. This is what is done through stress mastery, through the steps of stress mastery, through the techniques that we teach through stress mastery. And this is the whole process of shift coaching. It's about shifting you out of the old identity into a new identity so you can create your reality. The core essence of stress mastery is understanding the function and operation of being a human being and then how to use that understanding to create the reality that you desire. This is you building your life according to the life you desire to have that's connected in the creation mind to your purpose and your mission in this lifetime. And when you do this, you create a shift. When you create a shift, everything changes in your life. Everything changes. Why? Because the new identity is setting the new reality. And this is what we will be focusing on this week as we focus on the shift. So on Monday with the super millennial, David will talk on the millennial shift. This week's health huddles, we were going to talk on the shift and the body. In the meeting of the minds, we're going to talk on the midlife crisis, the shift of the midlife crisis. And on Connection Thursday, we will address the shift in relationships as we talk about the expansion relationship. I got so much feedback from last week's episode on relationships. I'm going to continue the conversation. And then on Friday, we will continue our book study, A Courage is Calling by Ryan Holiday. And on Saturday, we will close out the week talking the shift with Coach Peggy. So I'm excited for this week, this week's topic in the shift. And I hope that this setup Sunday helps you to understand how the reality and the shift play together. That's it for today's show. Our mission here is to create a shift in a planet. And you can join us on this mission by simply like, share, subscribe. The links are right below in the show notes. And as always, until next time, stay inspired.